Hello, this is Stephanie with Vadio, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom static graphics like this or this for the AV Bridge Matrix Mix. Vadio is a US based pro AV manufacturer whose goal is to make your AV experience easy. Our AV Bridge Matrix Mix is a full production video switcher that includes HDMI, USB, and IP streaming outputs, and its easy interface lets first time users run a high quality presentation with minimal experience. In this video series, we're going to cover not just the brass tacks of how to create a graphic, but also some quick tips for how to create a useful graphic. We'll also start by discussing video keying so we can better understand how the graphics we create are going to relate to our video. Before we dive into making our graphics, let's start by going over video layers, what keying is, and what types of keying are supported by the AV Bridge Matrix Mix. The AV Bridge Matrix Mix supports five video layers. Your background video, two keying layers, picture-in-picture, uh, -picture, also known as PIP, and your transition. These video layers come together to produce your final video frame. Uh, for our purposes today, we're only going to be talking about the first four. Uh, each of these layers has sections in it that are defined to be transparent to show the video layers beneath it. I have a CD here by a local Minnesota artist. This is Never Better by POS. And the reason I'm showing you this is because the fantastic album art is a great way to demonstrate video layers as it has a couple of different images and some transparencies that I'm going to use. So um, let's, take, let's take this here. This would be our background frame of video and one of our keying layers on top of it could be this text. Now part of this video layer is transparent and parts of it are not. Uh, when they combine they create what is called this composite video. The act of combining video layers to create a new image is called compositing and each layer maintains its independence. The background video still has all this information here so that when we remove this layer it's still there and they act independently of each other. Now let's add in say a separate layer here and we have now a new composite video image. Uh, we can re rearrange our layers to get a different composite image and again the layers maintain all of their information they just combine to create a composite video image. For example, we could change the background image back to the portrait here. You can see how we get a new frame of video. So this is how video layers work together to create this final video frame. So different kinds of keying help to define what parts of a video layer should be transparent. For the AV Bridge Matrix Mix, we support three different kinds of keying for static graphics, Luma, Chroma, and Alpha. Luma keying defines that the black in an image is what should be transparent. So this becomes this, which prompts us to have to ask the strange question, what is black? This looks black, right? It's pretty close, but it's not actually true black, which is this. Each color on a computer screen is a mixture of the three primary colors of light, red, green, and blue, which is commonly abbreviated as RGB, uh, with black being zero red, zero green, and zero blue. So to a computer, these two colors we were looking at earlier are very different because they have different RGB values. So how does a computer or a switcher account for this? Not every black pixel in an image can be true black. Well, the AV Bridge Matrix Mix has a threshold that can be set, which is basically a tolerance from how far away from true black a color can be. The algorithm goes through each graphic pixel by pixel, and if the pixel is above the calculated threshold, it'll be visible. If it falls below the threshold, then it will be transparent. 
Chroma keying is similar, except the defined transparent area is associated with a color rather than black. You might be most familiar with this as green screening, where green, or sometimes blue, is used to remove part of a video that's being shot. Now, any color can be used to key. Green and blue are just the most commonly used because they differ the most from human skin tone. Uh, the AV Bridge Matrix Mix is capable of setting the keyed color per graphic. So one graphic could be set to key off of yellow, while another one keys off of white. So this graphic, depending on the key we set, could look like this, or it could look like this. Now, alpha keying is my favorite because rather than have a pixel be fully visible or not, according to a threshold, it allows for some opacity. Each pixel of an image has the storage of an RGB value or color, but some file types also allow alpha channel information or how opaque or see-through a pixel can be. Here I have squares that are 100% opaque, 70% opaque, 40% opaque, and 10% opaque. Now to better demonstrate their opacity, because it's not as apparent on this flat wall here, uh, you can see as I wave my arm behind them, my arm is more visible on some of them than others. Now because this is stored on a pixel by pixel basis, you can have images with gradating opacity like this one here or with pockets of opacity, like this one here. This also allows for softer image edges as the border pixels can be partially opaque for a smoother transition to the fully opaque parts of the image. Thank you for joining me to talk about video layers and keying. Stay tuned for the next video in the series, which will cover tips on how to make useful graphics and visit vadio.com for more information on the AV Bridge Matrix Mix.